Yo, huddle up, 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 huddle up. We got episode two of the post game review. Um, we did our first one last week after the old well Vegas Raiders game, uh, which was a great breakdown. Um, and now we get to speak on that Cowboys Ravens that just transpired on Sunday at what four twenty five. Yeah, it was yeah. one of those mid games because of the NFC uh, played down there uh, yeah. in Dallas. Uh, so, yeah, again, thank you to Brandon for coming through on that last one and helping us out with the post-game review. Uh, this game, Shout again, out Brandon, yeah. we had uh, we finally got in a W column. But it's our third one. Technically. Yeah, this so is our, our third, third one, one yeah. technically, but this is like the individual episode, yeah. second one. Yeah, so, um, again, uh, we finally in the W column now, fellas. We, we here. Uh how how do we want to start this here as far as like do we want to go ahead and say like where we were watching it like where we want to go ahead and just how do we want to get into this joint so with me um i was at world of beer with kazo kamal shout out my man kamal salute to and Kaz. um kenny g my man Kenny G, the opposing the he's, Jets he's, fan, he just a Kenny op, G, man. the Jets he's, fan. He's a full on opposition at all. And points. I'll break down later on why he's not allowed to come to any more Ravens <laughs> games. <laughs> and then we uh, we were out of town. We caught it at a, a spot in Chicago that was called and dubbed the number one bar in uh, Ravens bar. I'm sorry, in Chicago, actually called the George Street Pub. So we made it out there, got to catch the game with it with uh was amongst it a, was it camaraderie. A lot of Ravens fans? A lot of people in yeah. there. A lot of people. It was a few Ravens jerseys, but it was definitely a lot of people in there. I saw a good amount of Ravens jerseys. It yeah. was um we was actually we actually slid off to the other side where it was a little more chill. Yeah. The other side, it definitely was a good amount of people over there. Yeah, but it was a good low event. We came in and we slid in around like late. I mean, probably we came. Me and my me and my lady got in there probably about the top of the second quarter, maybe end of the first quarter, um, and that's when we started getting into the game. But from the jump, I, I guess I'll let Mike kind of lead it off from what you saw in that first quarter, if anything that you can remember, like specifically, like what was good from that first. So quarter. the thing that made me happy about this game was um, <clears throat> if you give somebody sixteen million dollars, make them run the ball often, and they kind of let Henry get into a rhythm. And that was um, good to see because once he got into that rhythm, he was shaking off, bro. Yeah. Like that, he he shook off the whole game. But that first half, he was, yeah, yeah. They wasn't they wasn't taking him out and putting him in every five seconds. But it also made sense because the Cowboys can't stop the run. So it was like this is a game where Henry should get off, yo. Like if if it wasn't for if it if he didn't look really good in this game. I think it would be time to get a little nervous. Yeah, man. Because this team is a yeah. pass rush team, and they also really good with their pass rush. The Cowboys are really good with their pass rush, particularly um, when they have a lead. So they could just literally just rush the passer all day. But if you start, they're not a good come from behind team. Mm. Um, like you said, they just kept running and running and running. And run. how many carries did Henry have? I can't even remember, but he was up he there. It. He was in up that number. It's I think they was listening to us, like yo. That. I was about was to say that. was listening to the Us show. Last breakdown that we had, we were very frustrated at the fact that, one, Henry wasn't used a lot in that first half. That was crazy. He had, yeah. I don't know how much he had in that first half, but it was very minimal. Yeah. And that's just not, it's not conducive to our team this year. We have to put that ball on the ground. That's what we were stressing last week. That's why I feel like it was a lot of conversations that were had in post game, which we'll talk about later. And, um, you know that and things that we saw that felt like oh they might have been actually kind of either you heard something or you saw a clip or something that said like all right y'all stepped up a little bit so it felt good to see that run game working early on and and even another testament to the coaching staff is listening to us yo and this is not alleged yo um y'all kept saying yo the line not blocking they got bring the triple option back you said that like 47 the times. run option bro I've been saying Yo, that since since works. we started this season. Pat Ricard, yeah. uh, Derek Henry, and uh, 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 Lamar, it's nothing you could do with it, that. What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Because you're going to try to get there quick enough so you can stop Henry, which is going to make you overthink. If you overcommit, then if Lamar reads that right, he's breaking that. Yeah, he, if he reads that right every time, there's going to be at minimum six to seven yards that they're getting on that play. Facts. Every time that read option does that, Facts. it's um. Somebody had video clips of it on on X, formerly known as Twitter, 
And it showed specifically that he's been doing this since he was in high school, yo. This is he's dynamic. I know we want to see him pass, and I agree. But yo, that read option stop has to come out. Stop comparing Joe Barrow to him, yo. Please, yo. Yeah, that has to. At stop. this point, stop. Because oh, yeah. like, yo, Zay, even with the two losses, if Lamar just plays like he played in the first three games all season, he's gonna win MVP again, yo. Yeah, yeah. but let's I was let's keep say, going bro, with this game. Real quick. Because Henry, uh, he had 26 touches overall. He had yeah, I figured carries, it was something around there. And he had that one good catch. But the one thing I will say about Henry is that's going to make it. Because we talk about the line. And, yes, the line play is one thing. Um, but he's doing a lot of standing next to Lamar um, for them to do potentially some option stuff here or there. Because Lamar is comfortable mm-hmm. with some of that. Derrick Henry really is a... Behind you, eye formation type yeah, of power back. back. He's a power so, back. and we always talk about how he has to get a few steps in to really, really get shaken. Like when he's like right next to Lamar, it's kind of a weird position for him that he's not really used to. He's a classic type of back. Yeah. yeah. So when you notice this last game, when you seen him, it's more in his. That's why, if you ever notice, he's like way beyond where other running backs even yeah, he's are. Far in the back. Back he's really <laughs> far back. So when he get that ball, he has a full head. He already of steam. got about ten yards on. Yeah. You. So. They, what they have to do is, as the year continues to go along, is figure out how to have Lamar be comfortable with him on his side. Because you don't want to keep taking him out. Because you want to keep the threat there. But also, just do some some eye formation standard. Bro. We put Pat Ricard there and just keep bludgeoning you the entire game. You know? When that works best is when we get into that range of between that 30 to red zone. If we in that range and we put them in that eye formation, it works every time. Yeah, we get something every time that happens. So we start off with the option, maybe mix it up a little bit here and there throughout the field. But once we get down to that 30 to 20 to 25, 20, 30, 25, 20 range, <coughs> we, we start doing that eye formation. It's unstoppable. It's nothing you can do once you have Project Pat back there with Henry. Pat Ricard is who I'm saying is Project yeah. Pat for people who don't know. Yes. And then um, Henry back there. Yeah. That package is great. The Husky package, we always yeah. call it. What do you Stocky. do? Stocky runs only. Sturdy runs only. You bro. can't do anything against runs, that, bro. man. It's yo, aggressive. every run in the first and second quarter look ultra sturdy. Yo. So you the other thing stocky, I wanted to bring man. up in this game that I really enjoyed early on was I got there kind of late, like I said, uh, in, or into the first quarter, somewhat into the second quarter. When was that play made by Wiggins when he strips uh, <clears throat> C.D. Lamb? I think that was the end of the... Right at the beginning of the second, I think. Okay. Something like that. They were making a well, drop. end of the first. It's the end of the first, was, I think. Was, I think it was yeah. the end of the first. It was, this, it was early, but late early. This was a pivotal moment in the game because they were making a drive downfield. We had already scored, I think, either once or twice at that point, so we were kind of up yeah. on them. I think it was 14-3 at the time yeah. the play was made. So they were making a drive, and Wiggins had just got burnt on a play. Yeah. Trying to make a play And he almost made that play So you could clearly see He was frustrated And then on this one It looks like he gets burnt But he makes that Peanut punch type play Yeah Perfect bro and that's why <clears> He had that ball moves. like a bread Like a <clears throat> bread loaf Punched it right out uh, Wiggins we need him bro Yeah That's all we said We kept he's saying Another thing we talked about beast. last week He's gotta He's gotta get his reps He's young We need him First of all He's just a needed player period But also he's young He's gotta play There's been a, There was a few plays In that game where CD put him in a put him in a tough position, oh, yeah. because that's a heck of a matchup for you as a rookie. Especially that's really your first real, real, real game playing like from start to finish. Yeah. yeah. So it was like I wasn't even getting mad at some of it. Some of it was just like, "Yo, that's CD Lamb. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you got to figure it out." But like, like we was talking about before in some of the games, especially like, um, well, both of the first two. But it's like somebody on the defense needs to make another uh, a play or another play. Yes, yeah, sometimes, indeed. and he yeah. was just a playmaker in that joint, and that was big for. <clears throat> That's big for his confidence, man. Yeah, yeah. Got to be big for his confidence. That for secondary sure. needs him in a major way because it was a, it was a few things. We but but, 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 but yeah, third. but real quick, I want to say. Before we get Wiggins, into the bad. Hold on, real quick. Wiggins, that play, because we was watching and pay, paying attention, and C.D. Lamb spoke about it today. It, th- it threw him off, yo. C.D. Lamb was dropping passes. Yeah, man. Looking a little weird out there. He was there. there. He Wiggins was, dro- was out there. I He's a physical He's there. He's not. He's not intimidated. You clearly can see that. Mm-hmm. He doesn't get flustered if he does make a mistake. He's a playmaker. Yeah, and that's something we was. I think that's why we drafted him. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's why we drafted yeah. that young man. So yeah. he's doing in that game. He was doing what we needed him to do. Another plus that I really enjoyed 
We talked about him last week too, cousin Kyle. Kyle oh, yeah. Cousin Kyle was a force He's out there. Well, Miami. cousin Kyle, or Uncle Kyle. And Uncle Kyle. <laughs> that's what we dubbed. That's how we Uncle dubbed him. Kyle Uncle is, Kyle is Kyle Uncle Van Kyle, Noy. Uncle Kyle low, head, low key has been the MVP of the season. Tough Man of the Year season. award. So Already. again, three games in, Tough Man of the Year, yo. For, for, for with the broken orbital yes. averaging two sacks is crazy. Yes. For listeners who don't know and those who may be joining now, Cousin Kyle, of course, is our guy, uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle Hamilton. And then Kyle Van Noy is now, we've dubbed him as Uncle Kyle. Uncle, Uncle Kyle. Kyle. Uncle yeah. Kyle. The Uncle Kyle. Yeah, man. He's playing. Out of this world this year, yo. Yeah, he's, he yeah, did it last football, year. Yeah. He did it last <laughs> year too. He was a problem, but this year, nah, man, he yeah. won it. He won yeah, it. He, won he it. wants I to we, win. I, I think we mentioned him earlier with a lot of the older guys that that Vets. They, they understand like this. You know, teams get a certain window. They're within the window. Yeah, and once the yeah. window is gone, man, you might not ever get that back. Yeah. So and he's 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 all the way locked in. And um, Kyle, man, he's that last game. Yeah. He was looking like Kyle Hamilton. Yeah, my bad. Enough. Kyle Hamilton. It made me so happy, bro. He smoked. Yeah. Who was it that he smoked, man? Oh, oh my gosh. I can't even think right oh, now. Oh, God, man. He had, I know he lit him up. About, Smack him. Really? He had, a, he had like 12 tackles. He had a, oh, yeah. I did. Yeah. He <laughs> had, <laughs> I, got, I, I was yelling in the bar, bro. He had 12 tackles in that game. Yeah, he, he was, was all over the field. He was all over the place. And they had him lined up all over the place. I I, he was, I think he was in there. I forgot what the stat line said. My boy Lamont sent it to our group chat. God damn, I wish I had that and could pull it up. But he was out there for a while. I think he was in there for like at least 98% of the snaps that we was on defense. Excellent. I like that. He, he was, was out there. Worried. I like that. He was wilding. So I, that's what we've been waiting yeah. for. It got to and a point no. where I kept my fault. It got to a point where I kept saying after a while, yo, just watch what Kyle is. Because mm-hmm. he he's on at, he knows where the ball is going to be every play. Even if he wasn't the first person there, he was in the vicinity. It was refreshing. He was locked in, yo. So it was really good to see that. Very refreshing, yo. Need Very him. refreshing Need to him. see. Uh, who else played? I wanted well? to give him a shout out. Early, because he made a play early, and I've been slandering him all season, yo. Number 40, Harrison. Oh, he did? In the first <laughs> I quarter, missed that. he smacked somebody See, I missed the first off, quarter, yo. okay. He ran through somebody, He had special bro. teams got in. That's they, where he they, need to be at. Sturdy, yo, get yeah. on the ground. Stay on special teams. You don't need right, to be out there on that defense, Special teams bro. only, Jay. Yeah, man, respectfully. Yo, he might be the special champs, the special teams <laughs> aficionado. <laughs> I was really impressed. Crack somebody out there, shorty. Really impressed with Owe. Owe has been yeah, making Owe his presence good. known as well. He's been getting he's he finally got some holding calls in this one. He's been getting held a yeah, lot man. this season. And they Matter BK look good too. And he got a penalty towards the end of the game that it was a little fishy. That that, that was ultra let's, fishy. No, let's just go all the way into that, man. That yo, was ultra fishy. Can the we talk about need the to refs? Be under investigation, bro, yo. Ravens investigation. Under yo, investigation. We the feds out, Sorry, bro. gotta drop a dime on them. Yo, that was crazy. I don't like that. What's your famous term, yo? Seasoning, yo. That seasoning, bro. Nah. That seasoning is smelling crazy this year. Yeah, it did. It's been some wild calls against us. Yo, yo, <laughs> like, Lamar yo it's been t- consistent. It was so bad. Lamar looked into the camera and said, "Stop trying to cheat us. Stop trying to cheat me, bro." Come or whatever on, he said, man. something like that. He looked at the, this. Is the Fox camera, yo? Like, come on, yo. <laughs> what y'all doing? And then the safety that they didn't call. Mm. That was great crazy. One. Great one. I forgot about that. And they was huddled up for like Bro, five man. minutes. First, off, the ball. first off, either way, the lineman was not an eligible receiver. receiver. It was a guard. That did I, I can't ball. repeat that by 30 times. That like 18 times. <laughs> I was mad <laughs> confused. It doesn't make sense. I was trying to figure out like what their logic was, but all that mattered was the fact that he, he threw was. it to a lineman. That's wrong. That's grounding at minimum, Being which would be a safety. Zone. That's what I would have thought was <laughs> intentional go. grounding, which would have, yeah, like constituted a safety. They were talking for mad long. That's I'm like, all right, they on some bull. Sportsbook season, bro. And you can see, when I saw Harbaugh Jerry starting called to get upset. Down. Yeah, Jerry made the call, yo. <laughs> Allegedly. I don't Allegedly. want you to drop yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't want to get Brett Favre. Hey, <laughs> not one of that. I mean. hey, don't stop us while we got uh, while we got some steam behind us, chat. bro. So, allegedly. We're trying to win. But, yeah, so, like, I'm. Uh, and, and it's funny because on Twitter, um, Kyle uh, Van Noy was, like, basically, like, hey, man, I, uh, I learned the, the day. That was, yeah, I, 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 I learned the day that if you just throw the ball <laughs> to somebody that's there, it won't be considered, considered a safety. safety. And Lamar <laughs> said right under it, Lamar was like, if that would have been me, that would have been a safety. I love how Lamar what? just keeping it OG. And, and, real right and, now, and, and it's like, yo, that was an old lineman, an interior offensive lineman. Same thing with that hit. If any other person, if if, if somebody put that hit on Lamar, 
They wouldn't even have thought twice about throwing Nothing. a flag out there. Nothing would have happened. And we wouldn't have said anything because that was not a personal foul. We, we, uh, we need no, no, real, real, or all seriousness. The NBA started doing the, you know, the two minute joint or whatever the heck it is, and people be in, in some of the just post reporting on the refs, mm-hmm. right? And some of it is like, all right, whatever. It's annoying. Right? It just, but it needs but to I'm happen. gonna be honest, the NFL probably more so than the NBA. For transparency, we need that. We need an explanation for the hit. Both we of those it. actually, but the hit makes no, it was nothing. He hit him. In, I was in trying the, to find in, him. in the exact range. As clean as you can get. It was right here. Above the waist, above the ankle, right like, knees. He took him, scooped him a little head. bit. He didn't, didn't slam him. him. He didn't drive him in the ground. Hit him simultaneously. Grant. As the ball was leaving his hand, he didn't do anything wrong. I couldn't believe it. That was disgusting. And yeah. that would have been, I think it would have made it fourth down. Yeah. Or something like that would have been a, either a turnover on downs and or then, fourth down. And they wind up scoring and, on that same I, possession. Exactly. Come uh, on, man. Another uh, person we gave some uh, discredit to, too, that we got to give a shout out to was um, in early in the game, Nelson Aguilar caught that 50. Oh, yeah. Yard. Oh, yeah. That play was dead. Granted, was granted, you got caught because you're getting old. You shouldn't have got caught after you got that. He was butt naked, yo. I'm yeah. talking about he gave the man the move. Yeah, he gave him the move. He was up. Was it 50? It was about 50. It was 51. It was 51. That, Nelson Aguilar, that was beautiful. Nah, that was that all season. That was nice. Yo. And, and Bateman. Bateman, Bateman got a tug. Bateman. He heard us as well. Bateman he heard us about that pass. Yeah. You remember I brought mm-hmm. it up. I was like, well, that was a shaky pass because I would have yeah. never threw it to Bateman. And I still wouldn't throw it to yeah, Bateman. Yeah, it was funny too. It was kind of in traffic, wasn't it? it was yeah. Like that. We just got nervous because we yeah. were like, <laughs> is he going to catch it? Like, I don't know. I, nah, but like, Bateman, hey, but I'm not Bateman, being. Bateman a, did a great. Um, Fake on that because he like fake yeah. on the touchdown. He faked inside first, and then he we, came back, and then. But he that comes with the practice, the timing. Yeah. You can clearly yeah, see they working on that timing, yeah. man. Like which is great, and hopefully they keep doing that because he looks like he's gonna be a problem. Yeah. You know, he's fast. He's not a slow guy, so like yeah. that's great weapon to have out there. And, and the thing about him is he had the uh, what was that the first game? He had like the outside catch. One of them, I can't remember because the games are rolling now. But um, one of the things he does really well is he does get it in that mid range mm-hmm. and, and, and get some some really really key passes for you when you need it. So he just needs that consistency because yeah. that's key. I mean, honestly, because sometimes likely can be getting outside and getting, really getting those type of joints because he's like a, a just a large receiver at times. Honestly, yeah. Um, so like Bateman, just don't turn it over. That's all we say. Yeah. Don't turn it over. Yeah. Now, one and thing that we uh, did bring up. That we were right about and kind of repeated itself in this game was our boy, bro. We've been saying he on the on the trial right now. Yo, Zay that's said what it for I, a while. I literally just was trying to bring about to bring that up. Cause I'm like, Zay, that was a Zay Stradamus Zay, Zay moment I hated this week. Listen. Because I'm like, what's go because first off. And we talking about Tuck right now. Tuck, for people yo, who Justin don't know. Tucker, Justin man. Tucker. I gave guy. him a plea for the first two because it was outside early in the season and it was 50 plus. This was 46 to 47 yards in a dome with no weather. But Zay was calling it when you were saying that, too. That was 50-plus and 80-degree weather. It wasn't nothing, no yeah, inclement weather complete, either, bro. Still my man. <laughs> you you like, got to make those up, kicks, bro. Like, Yo, the Raiders game, and it, it wasn't was hot. 50, it was no wind. It was like 53 <laughs> or something like that. This it wasn't Cowboys crazy one was bad, though. This was he, really because it was 40. Because it was 40. far. It was like wide right. I'm like, yo, you don't have a Superman. Wide yeah, left, you don't have a Superman. And it was like 40-plus or something like, like that. 46. Wasn't it? 40, it wasn't 46 or 47. It wasn't over 40. Inside of 50, you're supposed to be money, bro. Talk. You're supposed to be money, bro. One of the things we do. They're not, they not going to have you on the Royal Farms commercials no more. Nate Wiggins or Kyle going to be on there real quick, yo. <laughs> nah. Kyle would be yo. a good one, yo. Kyle might be the one. The one of the things we we because we think we alluded to it before, but we gotta let's make sure we pay a little bit more close attention to potentially that line. Either the is line he getting is like because I'm I, he's on trial, but I want to make sure if we're gonna put him on trial, we got all the evidence uh, uh, put together line. holder as well <laughs> to get a verdict. The placeholder who is our yeah I think a our lot punter. of that's what I'm saying. I need to know what he is. is he doing something because he's been fucking up this year a little bit too. Theory, he did theory, better this game. The punter did a lot better this in, game. In theory, that who regardless whether you first the third string placeholder. They the only people that hold the the kickoff snaps and field goal snaps in practice. I'm at the uh, field goal snaps in practice, so it's like get that they time. They gotta right. got to have some. It's got like you said. It has to be the line. That's the only yes. thing that because they know how to hold the we, uh, a field goal. Yes, if they man. make it to the league. Listen, oh, man. man, I don't know. It's it's it's, it's sounding like it's tough. Before, That's we giving excuses and everything, but it's I, needed. No, no, it's not excuses. It's before we before we before, before we put we it all on top. All right, we got to get, 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 get the evidence. More games. We got to gather the evidence. Let's gather the evidence. It's still the third. What three games? Three games. We may need another two. 
We gotta see maybe a, one. A I'm gonna say one more. Let if he miss any more. more, then if he miss two kicks next game, it's so, a wrap, bro. Yo, it's 50, a wrap, bro. Fifty five or fifty four and in, yo. You need to be money. We're gonna have you on trial. I'm just be well. We, you're already on trial. We might have to reach a verdict at that point, yeah, yo. Like I'm we just have being honest, you, man. We actually have you at. We are now, now at closing arguments. Yes, this is where we at in the trial. win. Yeah. <laughs> this is closing because, arguments and, now, and this yo. is and this is why because. They're playing. The Ravens are playing that first place schedule. Mm-hmm. Everybody's playing them like it's, it's Lamar. Say play, play them like it's the Super Bowl. But yeah, a lot of teams are playing because Gardner Minshew is cheeks this week. Yes, and they said, like not. They He's think about bum, not playing yo. him. Anymore. I was watching that game before that at one. I'm like, yo, I cannot believe he lost to this clown. Yo. And and little stuff like that makes the difference because when Tuck missed the field goal, the whole game changed. Exactly. Immediately, everything changed about it, and it put them in a range. For for the Cowboys to win the game because let's say he misses that, makes that and they still start doing what they was doing they still would have been out of yeah, range it like matter. they would have so been like, in panic mode at that well point. you want me to I hate to be that guy yo this game really did feel like seasoning and this is why I want a lot of people under investigation because the fourth quarter to me seems like they were covering some type of spread like you got to think like twenty eight to three. Completely deflated, and now nobody knows how to defend anything. Well, I think we posted. It was a lot of Somebody momentum. Somebody looked up the odds for the, uh, the we point posted spread. The, well, we posted the stat stuff. Um, I think I posted it about Harbs and them recently, and we keep talking about yeah, it. Yeah, man. Some of it is quarter, just, bro. Some of it is just habits. Yeah. And then getting ultra conservative. Yep. Like, you don't got to be like on some... Um, Cause that shirt popped up, the twenty eight to three Super Bowl yeah, with the Falcons, man. where you just throw, 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 and you really not wasting any time. But the way Lamar was feeling, when you took, they took the ball completely out of his hands until the end, when he got the run, basically a couple, a couple, and the throw, a couple places they mm-hmm. fly, they flowers and stuff like that. But they got ultra, ultra conservative, yeah. And it's like, yo, you kind of, kind of still keep your foot, just you they ain't got to run the ball. Right play, but run. No, they was running the ball. That's not the issue. We keep saying run the ball, which was good because they was running the ball, mm-hmm. but they needed to mix it up just a little bit more, especially because Lamar was, at one point, he was like 11 for 12 or something. Like He's clearly in a rhythm. Yeah. Clearly in a rhythm. And then you take him out of rhythm because he wound up missing the Andrews throw because they needed him to make the one throw, exactly. but it's like he's not in rhythm anymore because you wasn't throwing it at all. Yeah. So they got to like, find a balance. They got to find a balance. That like, makes sense. And the coaching. Primarily run, but it, it has to be a balance. No, it was weird. Dude, Zach man. Orr, I'm not, I'm not saying, because they're doing some really good things, but yeah, in that second I, I, half, that defense be looking, say. when and the it, other and adjustments and make, and he, it's not the secondary. I hate to say it, the linebacker coverage is like, it's, Gotta be the lowest in the league right you, now, yo. It's kinda, bad, yo. Cross that middle, like we get cross that sports. middle. Them teams, like Kansas City, always gonna smoke us because all they do is quick slings. Mm-hmm. Like any of them teams, like that. Like we mess around, lose to Pittsburgh or somebody that just no, run even, quick five that, and ends. We was saying, we was saying. No, that. I'm just saying, if the linebacker <laughs> play is that bad, like I gotta, bro, they're not covering in the in the, in the uh, they can't cover the pass. I love him to death for his leadership, and of course, I'm never going to disrespect his play, but Roquan. Coverage is is a little shaky. He a little he, but shaky. he be still hitting though. He be because he he's still aggressive. Had tackles this game. But that that coverage is something that he is shaky at. And then Trent Simpson is young. But that's there. why you need dynamic outside linebackers that can cover. Like I, I don't know what's going on. They be getting because everyone that's going to be in the flat. We don't really have like the yeah. it's it's they different like the two now. Yeah, and they bring we Kyle only down, have middle, and part. then our linebackers are de- edge rushers. So those yeah, outside right, linebackers right, are right, edge yeah, rushers. Big, They're not yeah. doing anything really in the cover. Simpson out, made a, a play at some point. Simpson makes plays, man. He yeah, just yeah. has to it's stay just, consistent. Some of it with is it. timing. And then, um, yeah, it's just the time. And like I said, we, it's score. a new Three defensive quarter. In the fourth. Pressure on the quarterback, too. We got to get a little bit better with that. We do really good against the run, but the physical pressure on the quarterback sometimes gets a little lacking at, at the end of the games, which is tough because it's, it's something you're doing at the end of the game. So it's, it's really tough to do, but we got to stay consistent. With and they're doing max, um, they, they making sure they protect the quarterback yeah. at the end because they know they got to throw it the majority of the exactly. time. Exactly. Um, yeah. But also, I will listen. I don't want to get them too much credit, but the Cowboys, just briefly, I don't even want to go in depth on it. They was doing that something that we kept saying with the Ravens, don't abandon the run even when you're down. They were down by a lot and yeah. ran still some plays ran to ball. keep the defense honest, which made the defense with, have to still Ezekiel play. Ezekiel Elliott. Guess. Yeah, they had to keep guessing. And that's another thing about the defense. The defense Ezekiel wasn't Elliott. able to just keep running in. 
the Ravens sometimes they'll just completely abandon it and they be down f- seven points. Yeah. It's like, yo, just Ten mix it max. up a little yeah. bit. So they, we don't so, ever get blown out, man. Yeah. Like, that's the thing yeah. that's so frustrating. Yeah. It's like, we, oh, we yeah, give somebody up else things. we didn't give a shout out to, though. Justice Hill had a couple of good plays, too, yo. Yeah, caught yeah, a lot out the backfield. Plays. Caught a lot out the backfield. I picked him up on the waivers. Uh, well, hopefully, if I, if he comes through on the waiver wire, this. Yeah, oh, yeah, nah, he was, he was that's good. That's routine Justice Hill, though. Like, you're always going to make a play here or there. He's great out the backfield. Mm-hmm. I love him off the pass. I'm not as much of a fan of him coming off the run as much anymore, but I did love the pass game, and he made a lot of plays. How much, Um, I mean, well, not how much. Well, how much uh, credit do we want to... Give it to the offensive line. Oh, great question. I do first half. Mm-hmm. I was impressed. I was impressed. Great. They didn't play amazing the full game, but it was much better than it was. Listen. It was much better than it was, yo. Y'all playing how we need y'all to play. I, I called y'all out, yo. That's that, what you I, took accountability, guys. But I, I will say, I'm not, I'm not, because Lamar called it out and said, we got to give respect to Falele. We should be showing respect to this guy. No. Until I see that consistently over at least the next two to three games, I don't want to hear that because this was a team that has been heard, at least through media and what we've seen in these games, that is statistically bad against the run. Mm. So I'm not going to give them all the credit now against a team that we we ran the ball down their throat on this game. Like, give him a second. He, he played well. It sounds like the young boy was doing well. as uh, uh, Voorhees was doing mm. well as well. So if they're doing good, they're getting their confidence up, great. And they played against some good guys. So I'm not yeah. saying that they played against slouches, but calm down. I'm not going to rain these guys the greatest linemen on earth yet. Also, also, this is a game, like you said, they had to make sure they were going forward. Yeah. Our biggest concern, I mean, it's been both the, the concerns, but we really concerned about Lamar, that strip sack. Lamar, somebody running straight to him. So when exactly. they playing on, they got to, you know, Go back and, and protect him and make sure he good. That's the major concern. So when we get to a game like that, which we'll talk about it at later, the next game, we're going to learn a little bit more. But overall, I thought, thought they did a solid job. I can't complain. I think they did a solid job all the way through. I thought some play calling stuff got a little bit weird. Um, I'm not also not going to kill the coaching all that too much, even in the second half, even though some of the stuff is problematic. But like you said, some of them calls... Not even just shaky, just outright. Bro, the, and the, 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 oh. um, the not uh, again, the safety was the craziest one of the yeah. week. Period. Of this, honestly, this season. Yeah, also, real quick, real quick. Also, the onside kick, that's kind of fluky. Mm-hmm. I mean, so it, that, 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 that comeback. That was a momentum was, swing was right there. It was somewhat phony. Because they was down. In, in a yeah, lot of ways. It was kind of phony. They was down 10 at that point. They caught that. It was, a, it was a weird little comeback. You know? So that's why I couldn't give it all to the defense. Like, that was just a weird I thing. They got that. My fault, defense. Kick. I forgot about that onside kick. Yeah, I mean, so they, yeah, that's why, I'm, again, I'm happy. They ain't getting no break. I would say the only other thing that um, I, was, I was happy to see is Lamar not feeling like this was like, oh, we, we were great, you know, he he felt like that comeback was unnecessary. We shouldn't mm-hmm. have had to be playing how we were playing at the end of that game. We was blowing them out. This should have been a blowout. Also, Marlo. Marlo hum, Marlon Humphrey, bro. We talked about this. It feels like it's a, it almost feels like it's a growing cancer as far like as tr- in the locker room now. Like, is it I don't trolling like it. too? Like, the energy, I don't like it. Though. He just don't is fit he that giving, energy. He's giving more love. Honestly, like that guy said on that, on that clip of him roasting him. He seems like he's more interested in, in his podcast than he is in actually I mean, playing this game. Because right now, this is serious times. Yes. Yeah. And the he organization dropped, a, is he dropped a very, the interception in this game. And Lamar told him. One right to him. That and, ball was right in his and, chest. And, and he got cooked on one of them. Yeah. Them I knew I shouldn't have that popcorn. He got cooked on one of them routes, man. We was about to be like, we was little like, oh my gosh, mm-hmm. here we go, yo. And the dropped interception. It's like, Listen, things happen. You're not always going to catch everything, and you might get burned here. Or not there. in your chest, though. But when it's looking somewhat routine, and, like and, but also, just in general, this season, yo, these seasons, it, they're in a window. Everybody else seems like they're getting it. Yeah. Everybody else understands, like, yo, we got this window. We need to get it done. Let's lock in. If we don't get it done, 
We already probably blew, uh, uh, well, not probably two of them. On a serious chance, most of last year, that was one of but the best rounds. Two season. years, last we year didn't blew it. Last year yes. was ridiculous. Yeah, the year before I, that, the year before that didn't count because it was the injury. But yeah. Lamar, I mean the rape, the organization. We could, well, I'm not even maybe the game prior to organization. Yeah. Yeah. Lamar. What about the fourteen and two? We didn't had a few of them, man. Like there's been no, a 14 I feel like that the fourteen was, and two was Lamar's first starting season. So it's like all right, he gets almost like that was his second season. We've had chances, but Marlo got a. This is not the. It's not the like. And he been there long. Joe enough. Barrow never not, went fourteen not, not, two. not saying you can't have fun in the locker room. That's not. That's not the case. But after a game like that, that it's like, yo, it almost happened again to come back and all of this, and we about to be zero and three. And like the, uh, the when you go that like the more games you lose in the beginning, yo, the, the numbers between not even just going far, making the playoffs get real slim. Oh yeah. It's like, dog, you gotta read the room. Yes, sir. Read the room. And he doesn't. He doesn't know how. Like, to come on, man. And we better than everybody right now. He's or we should be on paper, much. and it's like, yo, you're not taking it serious, bro. Lamar said in the uh, the post game, uh, uh, right on, still on the, when they before they left the field, he was like, yo, our fans, we had to get it because you know, I, I don't want to say, but he was like, basically, you concerned for their health, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Flat out said that. On that the, was on, funny. It, uh, you can't say what he said on, Fox, on YouTube, yo. but I get what you're saying. That's like, funny as hell. It's a fact. Mad people but it was, was like, real. Mad people was like, fans is me. I'm that fan. I yo. was there. Concerned. I yo. was like, there, bro. Like, I was about to, you know what I mean? Because we was about dog. to go. We in the bar. We like, okay, we're going to head back to the, uh, we're going to catch the Uber. We got to yeah, that night. We you planning to leave we early. We head out. We said, ooh, it's about to be a blowout. We could leave after the first two drives of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Yo, we want them staying a little bit longer. Just looking, I was like, oh no. Then we on. It was starting bad, to come back. Know? Oh, they get the onside and, kick. Oh no. Uh, and that's why y'all brought me back to a memory of something I should have brought up earlier when we was talking about the Tuck situation. That's why Kenny G is never invited ever again. And I'm gonna call your full name out because you've been on the podcast. You my guy, and I would have said it to your face because I did. Um, never allow, bro. Bro, so Tuck misses the kick wide left. He screams out in the bar, I don't know what's up with y'all, boy. Y'all need to get rid of him. He looking like a liability. Like the whole bar looking like, yo. Ridiculous, yo. Not right now. Yo. Act like you had some couth when you're in that. Yeah, yo, y'all, y'all beat the, the, the New the England town, Patriots. Bro. Okay. Like, yeah. relax, bro. Yeah, be real, though. He ain't lying. <laughs> that joke was crazy. Blue. But, but, but in that situation. No, man. not right now. He can't say that. Yeah, we can't we say, can say that. I'm going to cut him some slack, though. And then, and then he was about to leave. And then, like, me and Kamal, we still in there mad, yo. Yeah. This fourth <laughs> quarter, like, he like, yeah, I'm about to go in the crib, chill, whatever, da 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 I'm like, all right, bet, be safe, da 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 And, yeah, we in there hot. He like, yo, I'm about to stick around. I'm yeah, like, hating. I'm like, yo, leave. He's yo. a prime time. I'm going to keep leave. it real, though. I respect him. Leave, I'm going to give him, I'm going to cut him a little bit of grace because... Them boys two, in, two wins in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is looking better by the week. And they look great against the Patriots. I'm going to give them the And the Patriots is not bad. Defensively, that that they're confidence not bad. from a team that's been that, down yeah, for a while, man. I be feeling like Hercules, yeah. too. Yeah. I feel like they're credible hope. I'm not going to. No, they look really good against the Patriots, but it's like. Stay healthy, my brother. That's all I ask. Yeah, that's the key thing, man. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to him. Did Aaron Rodgers yoke the coach up? Oh, you told him that. It was a yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Yo, chill, so. <laughs> but uh, like we were talking about with Marlo, you got the moment, yo, yeah. yo, we we got a long season, we locked in, yo. They talking yeah. about it's a failure if I don't get us to to the to the AFC Championship slab Super Bowl. Yeah. And I got hurt on the on the first drive last year. Let's yeah. lock in. I'm not celebrating nothing, yo. Like lock in. it's let's only get, let's three lock games. And I've been there before. We yes. three games like in. You've been there. And down. I don't have many years left. Yeah. Act like you've been there. I've been let's, there most it's time times. To lock in. And that's so. the thing with Marlo, man. The the Instagram thing is catchy. I get it. It worked well when we on them streaks like that. It feels good. We talking trash. But you can see it with a lot of the people that be on them videos sometimes. They don't want to be on them videos. Yeah. Why are you recording while we on the plane back home, man? And this Marlo, is when we supposed to be relaxing, really trying to get things our mind right, either for the next game just, or really trying to enjoy as a team. I don't want everybody seeing what we do as a yeah. team, to be honest. And I get he likes trolling, but hey, it's annoying, bro. Don't nobody want to deal with it. Because that, he's not a kid anymore. Yeah, you know it's I mean? like, yo, you that's firing annoying, up your camera, bro. you nine years in the like, league. How do you not know this is not the time to you mean, boo, boo, not play still around? Be yo. Doing this yeah, man. Team, yeah. <laughs> Juju still be doing it, though. He still be talking before the game. I know. It's that's crazy. what I'm and saying. He looks old, bro. It looks wild. He actually looks different. Yeah, he looks old. He yeah. looks burnt out now because he doesn't want to do that, really. But Marlon Humphrey, stop it. Yeah, man. 
Stop. Like he said, Please you stop. you are literate to reading the room. How is that possible, bro? Read the read the room. You see that's everybody sitting funny. down. Like, you yo, see you when you put about? that camera on Lamar, he didn't want to answer that question. You should have turned it off immediately. See, Marlo, Marlo Lucky, it's not like uh, 12 years ago when he was in the league. They would have wowed him, yo. Like, yo, what's up with you, yo? He might have got kind of ostracized up, from the locker room. Yeah, somebody would have been like, yo, bad. stop playing, yo. It got a little bad. Hey, man, make it Shut past. Shut with this guy. All bro. I got to say is, this is my last thing I'm going to say is, make it past that trade deadline. True. Yeah. Because we will get yeah. you up out of there. Yeah, because we'll get two nice guards for you, partner. And then I'm trying to think, was it anything else we missed with this game, fellas? Nah, nah we, I, we covered all bases. Salute to 11, Stout, the punter. He did pretty good this game. He put some good punts out there. You looking better. He better have after that Oakland game. Yeah, I mean, I keep saying Oakland Vegas game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I think that's really it. That's yep. all we had. Yeah, we out.